everybody. Just wanted to pop in and say hello. Um, we've had a great first week of the group. I'm so excited. Um, I just wanted to um, just kind of summarize. We've been talking about, we first started talking about fear and awareness of self. And within that first video, we talked about how we can um, take these fears and basically frame them into the metaphor of the ocean. We are the ocean, our fears, our doubts, our, our, all of the negative things that are, affect us, they are the waves. And as long as we can sit and rest in the presence of the ocean, that stillness, that calm, then all of these waves that come, that are going to come, it's inevitable. <laughs> you know, they're just going to keep coming. Um, we'll be able to change our perspective on them and be able to handle them and manipulate through life a little bit better. And then that last couple posts, we were ta I started talking about um, authenticity and showing up and, um, and how it is really important to be authentic to really get to that you know this is me this is me open heart you know here it is vulnerable my fears my doubts you know and they're all part of me and I'm working through them but that's okay um, so that's a really uh, cool um, cool way to kind of go through life um, and uh, just to kind of I guess deepen what we were, what I've talked about so far, there is a process I learned, and uh, I told you in the first video that I saw. I went to this retreat with Tara Brock. She's awesome, um, and uh, it was really amazing. And it was about releasing fears and sitting in that stillness and awareness of self. And um, but in that uh, group, or in that retreat, they she showed us a process. Um, it's called the Rain Process. I don't know if any of you have ever heard of it. But it is like incredible. It's awesome. Um, now, rain. Obviously, it's a. I'm not sure if the word is a, an acronym. I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> but rain is recognize, acceptance or allowing, investigate and nurture. So R recognize, A acceptance, I investigate and nurture. And these are like this is like the best process I have come. As far as helping to get rid of fear and get rid of like, you know, these places we get stuck in. We're not sure where that is. Um, but it helps us to kind of kind of navigate through them um, and, and work on ourselves. I mean, that's the whole point of being here, right, on this planet is to, you know, be able to improve on ourselves and be able to learn and grow and deepen and, and you know, and just be our best selves. You know, hence the name of the group. <laughs> um, we're trying to become our best self. That's the whole purpose of being on this planet. It doesn't matter what religion you are or, or where you come from. It's just, that's just what it is. Um, so this rain process is really cool. Now, I'm just going to go really quickly. Um, well, we'll start with R. So R is recognize. So I mentioned briefly in the first video that, you know, sometimes when we get in these spots or when somebody angers us or somebody makes us feel upset or or uh, oh and newsflash nobody can make you feel anything unless you let them that's a really good thing to remember in the back of your head um, we choose to be hurt by other people we choose to get angry about other people and it doesn't mean that emotions are bad emotions are very very good they are they are our guidance system um, just as fear is our protector our emotions are our guidance system and it knows when we need to oh wait let me shift go this way mm -hmm, let me think about this um, so um, when we have these things when people anger us and when people um, situations at work or, or in school or if your friends or something like that gets kind of under your skin um, and you react a certain way the recognized part of rain is to figure out, okay, wait a minute, hmm, this person probably is really not intending on hurting me, 
or this person is just snapping because they had a bad day or something like that. And our reaction is what we're supposed to um, kind of look at and figure out, hmm, could I have reacted differently? Could I have uh, chosen to fe feel differently in that moment? Um, so recognizing is basically awareness. So we talked about being aware of self. Now we're being aware of our behaviors, our, you know, what throws us off? What's our trigger? What's, you know, whatever it could be. Um, but awareness of, of how we react and respond to this world is really important. Um, and once we get that step out of the way, and that step can be pretty difficult because sometimes we fall into that judgment and of ourselves and blah, 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 blah and it can be a pain in the neck. But <laughs> we're just going to be objective here. So when you just look at yourself from an objective point of view and you just recognize what's happening, what is happening? There's no emotion there. It's just very basic, you know, being inquisitive. Um, then we go to the next step, which is the A, which is acceptance or allowance. This can be the hardest thing um, because sometimes we don't want to accept how reality is being in the moment. Um, but allowance, there's a universal call called, called the law of allowing, and it is the most amazing thing. And it takes practice. I'm not going to lie. It takes practice. I still work on it all the time. Um, cause the law of allowing is basically you allow people to be where they are because ultimately we are divinely where we are for a reason, whatever that reason may be. So if somebody's having a really bad day and they're snapping and being mean and whatever, you know what? Allow them to be in that space because they're working through something. And you can't change them. You can't control them. You can't do anything like that. It's up to them. That's their job. Your job is yourself. So allowing somebody to be in a space, you know, you know, you can stick up for yourself. You can say, you know, you hurt my feelings. I will give you time and I will walk away or whatever. However you manage it go through you know with tact and with compassion you don't want to snap back because then you're kind of doing yourself a disservice at that moment so but allowing people to be who they are allowing them to be where they are is really crucial and when life throws you a wrench okay you know what you have to let reality be that wrench was given to you for a reason so um, allow it to be there and it's really important to, I, I guess, it's really important to just let things go. Let things go. There's no reason to hang on to something that happened last week. There's no reason to hang on to something that happened 10 years ago or five minutes ago. There's no reason. You just allow, allow reality to be. Um, and that can take work, but I promise you, it will be like one of the best things you ever taught yourself. I'm telling you, it's awesome. It's really awesome. It really takes a lot of the stress off of our lives and the weight off our shoulders and, you know, and we don't feel attacked all the time. You know, it's really hard to feel attacked, you know, and we choose to feel attacked because somebody's acting a certain way. Well, you know what, when you allow them to be where they are and you know who you are, Poof, no more stress. Um, because you know, you, you know you're centered. Unless you're reacting back at them in a negative way, then you might have to start with the recognize and then get to the allowance again. But it's a really great step. Now, the third step is investigate. So this can be, this can be hard because you want to investigate objectively. You don't want to you know, like I was talking in the beginning of the video to, to start judging yourself. You don't want that. Um, so basically it's like, okay, you react a certain way. So you ask your, yourself a simple objective question. Now, what is it that I believe that made me to Amy act that way? Um, what is this feeling? Um, what, what's, 
what's the thing I need? What's not being met in me? Um, you know, simple questions like that. Very objective. You don't want to put the emotion in it because this is just self-reflection. Um, and it's really important. And when you ask yourself these questions, like, okay, what is it that I need? Well, you know, at this moment in time, I just need to be appreciated. Okay. That's what you need. They don't, don't worry about them. Don't worry about them. <laughs> because ultimately, you need to be able to do this, do this for yourself. So once you ask yourself these basic questions, objectively, no emotion, um, and you figure out why you reacted a certain way or why you feel hurt or, or why, did, why are you sad right now, um, you move to the next step. And this is the best step, and it's the nurture step. Nurture, nurture, nurture. I can't express this anymore. Um, you really need to pay attention to yourself. You need to honor yourself. You need to soothe your feelings. Um, you need to just basically, you know, it's okay. I'm okay the way I am at this moment. I'm okay. So I'm going to release these things back into reality. Um, and I'm going to take care of me. And sometimes you can just do that with a simple affirmation. You can put your hands over your heart and you can just say, I'm okay. I love myself. Things are going to go better tomorrow. Things are better. You know, sometimes being very present and positive, um, like it's already happening, is the best way to go uh, to do stuff like that. But, you know, truly... Truly nurture yourself. It's really important to, to take a moment or two for ourselves. Because when we, when we nurture ourselves, we can create a safe, calm space within ourselves. And that's really all you need. You really just need a place where you can go to within yourself where you can find the love you're looking for or the appreciation that you're looking for. Let's say somebody said something and you had just done something and you were hoping that, you know, they would appreciate what you just done. Say you bought something for someone or you clean the you clean the dishes for somebody without them asking or whatever, whatever it is. You know, and you don't feel appreciated. Well, appreciate it for yourself. Look at yourself and say, look, you know what? I did this. And I did this out of love. And that's all that matters. It doesn't matter how they react. It doesn't matter how they're behaving. It doesn't matter if they didn't even pay attention. I did it out of love. And I know that. There's a knowledge inside of me that knows that I did it from a very compassionate place. Do you really need any more? It really doesn't matter. Anything outside of you doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's how you are to yourself. And that nurture part is really, really important. I mean, you can go beyond it and you can say, okay, I need a moment. I need an hour. I'm just going to go sit in my room, meditate, listen to some quiet music, calm myself down. Um, that's perfectly fine. But just know that you are honoring yourself. And there is a place in you that is true. And you acted from that place. Um, and that's all that really matters. Uh, so I just wanted to, uh, you know, just kind of give you that. So the RAIN process is recognize, accept or allow, investigate, and nurture. And you can get through anything with this. And it really puts you in that state of presence, that awareness of self. And it helps you be more authentic. So it kind of brought everything together. <laughs> Um, for the last couple, um, you know, a couple days with my, uh, posts and stuff like that. But, uh, I just wanted to come to you really quickly and give you that. Um, I also want to start doing some live videos. Um, they'll probably be like five minute videos, six minute videos, not, you know, maybe even three minute video. It could be like I thought. Um, but if I do the live, I wanted to, um, uh, find a time 
where most of you are um, available or that you might be available. I mean, you can always get the replay, but just, uh, you know, below, just let me know, you know, what times of the days are best for you. And I'll see if I can work in my schedule. Um, I just started a new course, so um, I'll have to, you know, schedule everything in. But I really want to come to you live and be able to interact with you one on one. So just uh, pop the times down below. Um, I'm thinking like a Monday and a Thursday or a Tuesday and a Thursday or something like that. Uh, whatever works best for you. It might be a couple times a week. And I know within this course, there will be a 30-day video challenge coming. So I will be coming up with these great little tidbits and notes and thoughts and whatever every day for 30 days once I get to that part of the course. So uh, just uh, leave me a time. Let me know what's good for you. And I will see you soon. Bye-bye. Have a great night.